All right. Let's see what we can do over here. This is our tiny house rocket. It performs pretty well, but we're adding an experiment here. Generally, I'm finding that when you have a tiny house rocket, people don't feed the tiny house rocket. Or any rocket, I suppose. After they feel warm. So, it might get up to 90 degrees in the little space here because of a, a radiant barrel letting in some fast heat and then we'll stop feeding the fire and then we'll wonder why we're cold because the inside of the mass bench if you even got room for a mass bench didn't get up to temp so we're doing two things here. We're wrapping the sides of this barrel to uh, more slowly release the heat while the other mass is heating up. The other thing we're doing is adding a mass to the top. So generally the hottest part of a rocket heater is the top of the barrel. So if instead of having that all that heat just radiating up into the ceiling, if we can instead have it radiating into a mass that's bigger it takes longer to warm up. Well, it is thicker, thicker rather than bigger. If we have a mass that's thicker, so it takes longer to warm up, and it's on top of the hottest spot. Let's see if that acts as a kind of a time release capsule for us. See if maybe we can have more heat in the morning. At least that's the theory. So let's see how it works.
You'll see I'm dipping the cobs into, just barely dipping the cobs into a bucket of water. That gives me a little bit of moisture, like licking an envelope to get it to stick to. The dry cob up here already. And you see, we made these like tooth type of things last night. Because the more surface area you've got, the faster this dries out. The faster this dries out, it gets hard, the quicker I can build up. So keep going and that's one of the lovely things about working in the desert here is that things dry out a heck of a lot faster than they do in Cleveland stay tuned